Today I will be showing you how to make an ice cream amigurumi. To start, make a magic ring with tan yarn and single crochet six into it. Also, if you find these instructions confusing, there is a digital PDF pattern in the description box below, as well as a post on my website, which I will link below. Single crochet one and increase around. Use a stitch marker to mark the first stitch of each round. For the next two rows, single crochet in each stitch around so there are nine stitches in each row. The first stitch of the round will always be the stitch that you use the stitch marker to mark. This ice cream cone can have as many scoops of yeast you want and they can be any flavor you'd like. You can even make your ice cream scoops as big as you'd like so you can have a heaping mound of ice cream on your cone if you wish. In the next round, we are going to do two single crochets between the increases. Single crochet one, increase, then single crochet two and increase. Repeat the single crochet two, increase two times total, then single crochet to finish off the round. This is so the stitches are centered. Do two more rows after this of single crocheting in each stitch. Do three single crochets, then an increase. One, two, three, and increase. Repeat this three times around. Do the next two rows full of single crochets in each stitch around. The next row will have four single crochets in between the increases. Like the row with two single crochets, single crochet two, increase, single crochet four, increase, single crochet four, increase, then single crochet two to finish off the round. Like before, do two more rows of single crocheting in each stitch around. One, two, three, four, five, and increase. Repeat this three times around, then do two more rows of single crochets. The next round will have six single crochets between the increases. First single crochet, second single crochet, third single crochet, and increase. Single crochet six after. Now the pattern will be breaking a little. Instead of doing two more rows of single crochets in each stitch around, you're gonna move on to the next row of increases. Now to break the pattern, Single crochet seven in between the increases. One, two, three, four, five, six, counting, seven, and increase. Repeat this three times around. Now do eight single crochets in between the increases. Single crochet in the next four stitches, increase, single crochet in the next eight stitches, and increase. This is the end of the last row. Slip stitch into the first stitch with the stitch marker, then leave a long tail for sewing. You should have 19 rows for the cone in total. For the ice cream scoop, take your first color, make a magic ring, and single crochet six into it. You can make as many scoops as you like. Place your stitch marker in the first stitch, then single crochet into the same stitch. Increase in each stitch around. 
you should end up with 12 stitches total. Although your scoops can be as big as you'd like, be sure that there are at least 42 stitches around, which is what I did, because there are 30 stitches on the end of the cone and you want the scoop to be a circular shape while matching up with the cone. For the third round, single crochet, then increase. Repeat this six times around. Keep repeating this pattern of single crocheting one more than the amount of single crochets you did in the previous round, then an increase. Remember to repeat it six times around. This next part takes a bit of math. Count the number of rounds that you did with increases. This will be the same number of rounds you will do of simply single crocheting in each stitch. To make this scoop actually circular, this is also going to take a bit of math. Remember the number of single crochets that you did in your last row of increases? Well, this is going to be the same number that you're going to do for the starting decrease row. Single crochet that number, then do an invisible decrease. You can look up on YouTube how to do an invisible decrease if you are not sure how to. Repeat this six times around. Watch me struggle trying to do an invisible decrease. But you know what you don't need to struggle with? You don't need to struggle with buying an already made ice cream amigurumi. Go on to my Etsy shop. The link is in the description. There's a strawberry lemonade crochet ice cream amigurumi on sale. And it's only $13.49 with free shipping. No, I'm not prime. Now back to making your own. Single crochet one less than the amount of single crochets you did in the row before, then do an invisible or decrease. Repeat this until you end up doing four single crochets and an invisible decrease to make 30 stitches around. This is my last row of single crochets and decreases. As you can see, I started out by doing two single crochets, then an invisible decrease, then proceeded into doing the four single crochets because 4 is an even number that can be evenly divided by 2, which is what an even number is. And the reason I did this is because you want the scoop to be as spherical as possible, which means spacing out the invisible decreases and increases as evenly as possible. Now I'm going to proceed into making the ruffle for the ice cream. Single crochet into the first stitch with the stitch marker. Place your stitch marker into that stitch that you just did. As you saw, I didn't place the stitch marker into the first stitch directly after I did it, but I highly suggest you do this to make things easier for yourself. Anyways, back to the ice cream. Chain 2. This next row of ruffles will be worked completely in the front loop only. You're going to end up repeating a pattern of doing 5 double crochets in one stitch, then 2 double crochets in the next 15 times around. The stitch I'm doing right now, as you can see, is the one with 5 double crochets in it. On to the next stitch. First double crochet. And second double crochet. Do the double crochets into the first stitch with the stitch marker. This is the end of the row. Flip stitch into the first double crochet you did. Cut a long tail for sewing and fasten off. Make more scoops if you wish. Now onto the toppings. You can make any toppings you want, but I chose to make a whipped cream and cherry. With the whipped cream, make a slip knot with white yarn, then chain 11. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yarn over and do a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. Do two more in the same stitch. Repeat this in the next two stitches. Doing this many stitches in the chains will allow the whipped cream to be able to be curled up on itself. This is the last stitch I'm doing the half double crochets in. In the next three stitches, do three double crochets. Two, three, next stitch, one, two, three, next stitch. For the last three stitches, I'm going to be doing treble crochets. 
A treble crochet is like a double crochet except you do one extra yarn over, therefore making it taller. You can replay the video in slow motion or look up how to do a treble crochet on YouTube if you don't know how to. Once you reach the very last treble crochet of the whipped cream, fasten off and leave a long tail for sewing. Now for the very last crocheted piece of this ice cream. You're going to make a cherry. You can also make any other fruit or topping to go on top of the whipped cream. The cherry is super simple. Using red yarn, make a magic ring, chain one, then single crochet six into the magic ring. This is a third. fourth, fifth, and sixth. Increase in each stitch around. You should end up with 12 single crochets at the end. Don't forget to use a stitch marker. That was half of an increase, so one single crochet. And doing a second single crochet in the same stitch to complete the increase. Repeat this five more times around. Then, to make it a sphere, do three rounds of doing one single crochet in each stitch. You should end up with 12 single crochets at the end of each round. This next row will be a little tricky. You're going to end up doing six invisible decreases around. As you saw, I did an invisible decrease for the first stitch, then placed my stitch marker into that stitch. You have to stuff the cherry as you go because the opening is too small to stuff when you're completely done. Now is the final stretch. You're almost done crocheting, so don't give up. Use small amounts of stuffing to make sure that the stuffing inside is smooth. If you try and stuff too much, the chances are that it will burst out. Continue doing your invisible decreases. You can pull a bit of stuffing out if there is too much inside blocking your way of doing invisible decreases. When you get to the end, slip stitch into the first stitch and then fasten off and leave a medium length tail for sewing. It doesn't need to be extremely long since the cherry is quite small. Finish off the end of the circle by threading the yarn with a yarn needle, then weaving in and out to tighten it. Pull the yarn tight and squish around the stuffing if you need to. Place it on the whipped cream, then use the red yarn from the cherry to sew it on. Do a ladder stitch, alternating between making the stitch on the cherry and on the whipped cream. Try to make sure that the ladder stitch blends in with the cherry so it doesn't stand out against the whipped cream. Now I'm moving on to the ice cream. Take a handful of stuffing and stuff it down into the cone. You have to use small parts to be able to get into the very tip of the ice cream cone. Weave in any extra ends on the ice cream cone and scoop that you won't be using to attack the pieces together with. Proceed to stuffing the scoop. Use a large handful of stuffing because somehow the stuffing always gets eaten up and you have to end up using a lot more than you think. Thread your yarn needle with the long end from either the cone or the scoop, then use a ladder stitch to sew the two together. Alternate between sewing on the very edge of the cone and the back stitch of the scoop. Push the stuffing in as you sew. You can always take some of the stuffing out if it is getting in the way of you sewing the scoop onto the cone.
If your yarn gets knotted up, don't pull on it as it can always make the knot worse. Instead, try and focus on picking apart the knot. I know this isn't very helpful, but that's all I have to say. Once you're done sewing the cone to the scoop, make a knot. Weave in the ends, then cut the yarn. Attach the whipped cream to the top scoop before sewing it onto the rest of the cone. Take your starting tail end and then just push it into the scoop. Thread your yarn needle with the white yarn, then securely sew, using a ladder stitch, the whipped cream onto the scoop. And boom! Suddenly, the whipped cream is sewed onto the scoop. Definitely not editing. You'll notice that I have not fastened off the red end from the cherry because I want to make sure that the cherry is in the right place before fastening off. Tie a knot with the white yarn, then weave in the ends. Right now, you can add sprinkles if you want. And now I'm finally fastening off the red end. Thread your yarn needle with the tail from the brown scoop, then sew the scoop to the white scoop. Use a ladder stitch like before to sew it on. Once you've gone all the way around sewing the chocolate scoop to the vanilla scoop, make a knot and weave in the brown end. And now you're done. Squish the stuffing around if you want to adjust the shape. Ew, I see an ice cream cone. It's mine. 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 I'm gonna take it. Wee.